What's up, everyone? So today I'm just going to show you how to get your hair physics in Unreal for your Vroid model to actually work. So if you've already gone this far where you can already control your character, then you should be able to do the next step with me. And as you can see, his hair, it's not moving whatsoever. So one thing you're going to want to do, so it'll depend on which skeleton you actually linked your anime blueprint to. I linked it to the UE4 mannequin because I'll need it for later. Uh, some people might have linked it to the SK7. So whatever one you linked it to just make sure to check that in here the one that says meta for your model go into here and make sure it matches the skeleton that you linked your blueprint to the anime blueprint so for me i had to switch it to the ue4 mannequin and apply it to the asset so after that Many people that will be using the third person anime blueprint that they linked it to, you would just open it up, you would hit click on double click the anime graph, it'll bring you to this little window. Alright. So first thing you're gonna do is right click and type in VRM spring bone. And you're going to left clip the default, going to the component pose, and left click going to the output pose. And then if you want, you can just strain them out. So just select them all and then just press Q and it'll automatically strain them all out. So now what you want to do is just only click on the VRM spring bone and where it says the VRM meta object, you're going to go and choose the one it, that your skeleton is linked to. So which this one is for me. And you're going to hit compile. So for many people, the hair might not be perfect. It might, it'll most likely be going all over the place. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So you can see his hair is actually moving unlike it was before. So, but it's a little too dramatic. So, and by the way, you press escape to get out of that window. So going back into the anime blueprint while having VRM spring bones selected over here where you had linked the meta object. There's a bunch of settings you can actually mess with to actually change your hair to actually be more perfect the way to you want. You can add the stiffness and but the thing that will actually help you out the most would be the gravity. So the add gravity on here. For me, I went on the Z. So these are the direction it will be going. I'll just give you an example. Like, uh, so if I put the Z at 6, I'm pretty sure this will be going up for my hair. Yep. So as you can see, his hair is automatically just staying up or into a super same position. So, you for me, what works for my character, but his hair is very, very freaking stiff, was negative 6.7 to make it be going down. This is the one you'll most likely want to be using, not the other two, but you can mess with these if you want to see if they work best for you. Um, you can also add stiffness. For me, 1.65 worked, but 
I'm just gonna take that off so you can just see what it looks like. So just compile and just play. So as you can see, his hair is kind of looking a bit droopy, but it's staying down. So that's the way I prefer it, but just mess with the settings, see which one actually works best for you. One last thing, you see how that could actually help with this is, you see how much his hair is moving? All right, so it's a bit too much. And another way besides changing the gravity or adding stiffness yeah, on the VRM spring bone on the alpha, you can change it to a lower one point what's it, point three is another one that worked for my character. I'll show you. See his hair is not really moving as much. It's kind of staying stiff. Let's see if I can see. His hair actually does do move though. So this BRM spring bone is working. It's just not making it very dramatic. Um, that's pretty much it. I um, hope everyone has a lovely week and see you later. Please consider liking, subscribing, leaving a comment down below. It helps out the channel. Later.